Hey everybody, Jason here again with Engineer Essentials. Today we're going to be talking about the problem of reporting basic dimensions. A lot of our students are asking us, what do I do with basic dimensions? Do I need to report them? And what do they mean in general? Uh, the short answer is no, you do not report basic dimensions. We'll get into that a little bit here with an example. So I have a drawing here of a part. And note that this drawing is not a complete drawing. There's a handful of dimensions missing, some features aren't defined. But I did put enough geometric controls on here to talk about what I want to talk about today, and that is the use of basic dimensions in defining a position. When you first pick up a drawing, the best thing to do is to note all the datum features on that drawing. We see that we have three here, A, B, and C. And those same datum feature references are used in the feature control frame here, setting up the datum reference frame A, B, C. So let's start with datum reference A. Datum feature A is going to be this surface right here, which in this view is also this surface. We know that a plane can lock down three degrees of freedom, two rotations, and one translation. One rotation is going to go this way, one rotation is going to go this way, and one translation is going to be going up and down. So we have two rotations we've locked down and one translation. Now let's move to datum feature B. Datum feature B, we know, is this hole right here. And as a cylinder, a cylinder can lock down four degrees of freedom, two rotations, two translations. However, those two rotations that it could lock down have already been locked down by the plane down here. So we know that there's two translations left to lock down, and that's going to lock down a translation in this direction and a translation in this direction. So now we have two more translations locked down. And that's five of the six degrees of freedom locked down. We have one rotation left to lock down. And datum feature C, which is this mid plane here, is going to lock down that last rotational degree of freedom. This sets up our datum reference frame A, B, C, again, used in this position callout here. Now we know that the position control can control all four components of sloth, which is size, location, orientation, and form. I brought in this animation here to show you all the four components and how they affect a hole. Size, location, orientation, and form. So for this example, let's take into consideration this hole right here. If you're going to report the basic dimensions of this hole for location, which dimensions would you use to locate it? Would you use this 1 inch dimension here with this 1.375 inch dimension here? Or would you use this 1 inch dimension alongside this 1 inch dimension? Well, if you're using the position control, we know that it's in reference to the datum reference frame A, B, and C. So that would control this hole perpendicular to datum feature A first, then locationally to datum feature B, which is this hole in the center here, and then last to datum feature C. Using this position control, you are able to make sure that the inspector checks the part to the datum reference frame, which should also be related to the actual mating assembly. Now I'm going to back up this animation to orientation to further explain why reporting basic dimensions is not going to give you the full picture. If you're going to report basic dimensions, do you report from the top of the feature here, or the bottom of the feature here. Likely, if you report from the top, this dimension here is going to be different than this dimension down here if you report from the bottom. So when you report basic dimensions, which side of the part are those measurements coming from? Your part could easily pass when measured from the top side, whereas it could easily fail if you measure it from the bottom side. Due to these perpendicularity errors, the reported two-dimensional xy dimension at the top of the hole is usually different than the reported xy dimension at the bottom of the hole. For this reason, a single set of xy dimensions by themselves is not sufficient and you must have a reported positional error. That's exactly how the positional callout works. These basic dimensions will locate the 10,000th diametric tolerance zone at its true position, which is located here. Now we know that the datum reference frame is going to hold the tolerance zone perfectly perpendicular to this bottom face here. And using the positional tolerance, as long as the axis of this cylinder, 
lies entirely within the tolerance zone defined by the positional callout, we have a passing feature. Now, I understand it's often necessary and even requested to report the measured values associated with its position. However, simply reporting the two-dimensional basic dimensions, especially with no respect to the datum reference frame, will not result in usable data. Instead, we highly recommend utilizing the data used to measure the total diametric deviation. Let me show that with a quick visual. So if your position tolerance is 10 thousands, I'll draw that tolerance zone here, and your axis comes in well within that tolerance zone, the extremes of that axis will define the total deviation. This total diametric deviation will then be reported in your CMM report. Often the data that's used to report this deviation can be listed in the report as well in order to gain a better quality perspective of this feature. There's no harm in including any extra data in an inspection report, but you must report the total position error as defined by the ASME Y14.5 in order to deem this feature accepted or rejected. Hopefully this quick video has given you some insight into how basic dimensions are used and why you shouldn't be reporting them. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to visit the website, check out our additional free resources. Here you can test your knowledge with our print reading and gd &T quizzes. You can also download helpful wall charts and access articles written by our training experts.